Hey, hello and good afternoon again and welcome to A Word on Books with Sharice Monet. Today I am here to talk to you about one of my favorite authors, Sandra Brown. Um, I just finished reading, or I'm sorry, I always say reading, listening to one of her books and the book was called Seeing Red. The narrator was Victor Slezak. I've listened to his voice on numerous um, audiobooks. I love his voice. I love the characterization. You buy into it. Um, he gives you, his voice gives you this visual of this big strapping, just man's man. So I always know that he's going to be the man um, in the book when you hear his voice. This book was 12 hours and 44 minutes. Hatchet Audio put this book out, um, and it came out August 15th, 2017. And again, this is called Seeing Red by Sandra Brown. I've been listening to Sandra Brown books since I first started listening to audiobooks. Um, sadly enough, this was not one of my favorite books. For me to have just finished listening to the book and have to search to think about exactly what the book was about is kind of hard and I really just finished this book maybe two days ago um it was just really 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 drawn out that was what the problem I had was with the book it wasn't that it wasn't a good storyline it wasn't that at all um it was pretty much just that it was drawn out I like the storyline to the book you know, Sandra Brown's books are usually going to end in some sort of happily ever after. I was surprised that the ending wasn't quite as cut and dry and clean as that. And it wasn't that I didn't like the book per se. It was just too drawn out. It didn't take almost 13 hours for this story to unfold. I didn't stay engaged, but yet I wasn't at a point where I had to go back and... um rewind and listen you know this was the perfect book if I was doing something where I didn't have to be a hundred percent engaged in the book it didn't make me sit down and stop and say wait what did I miss let me go back it was like eh, it'll be okay um again it wasn't that I didn't enjoy the storyline I just didn't think it needed almost 13 hours or however many pages the book was to get to it um, as always, Sandra Brown will always be one of my favorite authors. I just think, as with any greatness, there comes a time that you fall a little short. I found this to be, um, overall, if I have to judge the storyline, if I have to judge the narrator, the plot, uh, the fact that the ending wasn't just a storybook ending, which I do like that sometimes in a book. I don't want everything to always have just like a nice little bow on it. I would say it was a good book. Not a very good book, not a great book, just a good book. If you are somebody that is multitasking, um, say for instance, like my friend Lisa who's doing like artwork or something where her attention might be split between what she's doing and the book she's listening to and she doesn't want to be super duper engaged to that she's not focusing on her artwork, then I would say, okay. This might be the book for you. But if you are doing this and you have to be engaged 100% of the time, even 80% of the time with what you're listening to, then this isn't the book for you. So for this book, Seeing Red by Sandra Brown, um, August 2017, Hesha Audio, Sleezak, awesome narrator. I say it was a good book, and I give that three glasses. I still love you, Sandra. I just think the book was too long. I'm interested to get feedback from other people about what they thought about this book. Again, the storyline, great. Can't say it enough. Almost 13 hours. It was a book that once I got into it because it was Sandra Brown, I kept listening to it. And it had enough for me to listen to it. Um, something that came up in another book that I'm going to review a, bit, a little bit later on today was a very good point. Any book, whether it be written or audio, give it a chapter. Give it a full chapter. 
or 100 pages, whatever the case may be. Give it a certain amount before you put it down because you might miss the boat. Not every book is going to just grab your attention right off the beginning and just get you. This book had a great start. Sucked me in right away. It was just a lot of low throughout the book. So I thank you for taking time to listen to yet another Sharice Monet, A Word on Books. Again, I'm always going to ask because if I don't ask you, you won't do it um, or you won't know how important it is for me to me for you to do it. I said you subscribe to my channel, share my channel with a friend, ask them to subscribe and tell a friend. Without you, there is no me. I have a goal. I can't reach that goal without you and those of you out there that enjoy audiobooks like I do. Thank you very much and have an amazing, amazing evening. And I look forward to sitting back and talking to you about more books. Again, Sharice Monet, A Word on Books. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.